Shiva Raksha Babaji Yog. Greetings, beloved beings of light. I wanted to give you all a quick transmission with some updates and synchronicities for day today. Today is the day after this powerful, most intense pink full moon in Scorpio. I put out yesterday's transmission and we received several comments about how Vesak was not yesterday's full moon, but next month. Let me explain very briefly here. And then we'll continue. I want to get this out to you today before tonight's transmission to give you some powerful energy, some powerful chi and transmission. Uh, so I understand next month in Sri Lanka is the uh, Vesak, the Vesak celebration. But many Buddhists around the world always celebrate uh, Vesak, the, the birth, the life, uh, death and nirvana of Shakyamuni Buddha on the Scorpio full moon. So many Buddhist uh, traditions uh, celebrated Ves Vesak uh, in this past full, full moon, which was yesterday on the 23rd. Tuesday today is Wednesday the 24th of April 2024. So yesterday many Buddhists around the world uh, celebrated this very special day of Vesak. And joining me here today is Vajra, our sacred Vajra. This is uh, Vajra I used uh, many years ago and still use in healing ceremonies in our monthly Reiki on uh, Patreon and YouTube memberships where we do a remote uh, healing transmission, a distance healing for our people that uh, join us, that sign up for it. So I use this, uh, I was using this for a long time for a special art, uh, a Tibetan art called uh, thunder breathing. You see the Vajra, or Dorje in Tibetan Buddhism means thunder, thunder and lightning. So when I would do a, a special art called thunder breathing, holding this Vajra, I would feel like I was getting struck by lightning sometimes as I went deep into the energy. And this, this is the thunder beings are uh, part of our sky nation, our star nation. They're what in Mongolian shamanism they call the Tengri, the Tengri are the sky beings that connect the shaman to source, directly to source. So this here, uh, the red, this is part of uh, my Tibetan uh, monk robe and the, the red and the gold here. It's just very symbolic for this red energy, the, the fire energy, the yang energy that's flowing in through this intense, powerful portal. And the gold, this is divine alchemy. You know, the alchemists would transmute lead to gold, the symbol of, symbolism of transforming physical matter back to light, return to the light. So this is very sacred. I spent many years, many, many hours tr training my spiritual practices or meditative arts in the Kunlun lineage. I would wear a special robe and uh, this gold here. So it's imbued with my chi, my Kunlun energy of many hundreds and hundreds of hours of practice. So I'm transmitting this energy through this technology to all of you. So we had what I wanted to share with you today on this very sacred portal. Um, I've been preparing for tonight's transmissions and we have a very special transmission tonight from our divine sister of the light in Greece. She's anchoring the codes, divine goddess in Greece, Erini from, uh, you know, Erini is who we uh, transmit some of her. She's one of our new earth scribes. So uh, her transmission today is very powerful. So be sure to join us tonight. But she was talking about this, this egg, the sacred egg of abundance, this orange egg uh, synchronizing with this, this orange hue that is fill, filling uh, yesterday, uh, the Libya and Greece, you know, Libya and Greece, the skies and were filled with orange and they say it was from the Sahara Desert in Africa, uh, filled the air of Libya and Greece, which is very synchronic. There's a deep connection. There's a sacred portal stargates in Libya and in Greece that are being activated. Some of you watched the short transmission earlier today from Judith Kusul, our divine sister that is in South Africa, anchoring the goddess codes in South Africa that, um, 
the pyramids, the great pyramids of Giza and South America, these are all being activated right now. So you're feeling this, you might get the chills. I'm getting consistent flows of energy, bliss codes coming in. So as I was preparing, I'm still preparing. I'll be recording here in a little bit and I'll get this out to you, but it's going to be a very powerful transmission as usual, you know, so uh, she talked about the, the, the Sophia, Athena, Sophia, Nike. You know, in the West, we say Nike, like the Nike shoes. And as I was preparing and uh, putting the code into uh, to prepare for to read today's transmission, Erini is talking about the egg of abundance that will be fully activated on this coming 5-5 portal, May 5th. This is abundance codes. This is the egg of abundance, the egg of alchemy that's cracking open to for the phoenix to rise. So real quick, this symbol I'm wearing here, I purchased this. If, if you can see, it is the sacred scarab. This is Egyptian symbolism. Years ago, I, I purchased this uh, many moons ago when I was uh, researching some of Edgar Cayce's work. Edgar Cayce is what, who we call the sleeping prophet. He would go into an altered state and uh, help people heal from any kind of illness. And he would go into these states of altered consciousness and tra either go into the future, the past. There's uh, hundreds and hundreds, potentially thousands of hours recorded. He had a secretary that recorded everything as he would speak in this trance, you know, the sleeping prophet. He would go in a trance and then tell people what sickness they had and how to heal naturally from that illness. So sometimes he would go into these altered uh, realities or past realities, alternate timelines, sometimes to Atlantis, sometimes to the future. And he said in these final days, in the in this time after 2012, you know, what we're experiencing in the shift of the ages, he said it will be very beneficial, very powerful to wear a sacred scarab. See the scarab uh, with the red here, the red sun, he's raising the sun. This is the, the setting sun actually of the the west, but the rising sun is the gold, the yellow. So, and you can see a crystal, a quartz crystal above it. So he would say, where are the scarabs? See, the, with the wings, this also symbolizes the phoenix. So the phoenix energy coming in and the crystal above it is the, the crystalline code of source rising up through this red sun, the red sun within. This is the fire burning from within and the shamanic initiation of awakening, of transformation, transfiguration, and resurrection and the light. So feel into that energy of this resurrection energy. Now, for many years, I taught uh, a very special art called the Red Phoenix from Maoshan Mountain of the east of China. And just before the scamdemic started, the gold dragon master contacted all of his teachers, all of his students, apprentices, and said, no longer teach this art, this Red Phoenix art. It is a fiery practice. It was too much, too intense for many people, especially people beginning in the spiritual teachings, the practices, the arts of meditation, and say Nei Gong. This is a Nei Gong. See Qi Gong for Lower Dantian, Nei Gong, Middle Dantian, Shen Gong, Upper Dantian. See, these are different practices to activate and open the, the chakra, the, the Dantian, the elixir field. So we have main three main fields of elixir called Dantian in Chinese. So this energy coming in as I was preparing for today's transmission and I was typing out uh, some information and retrieving some information, transmission from Erie. She was talking about uh, Sophia, the goddess Sophia, Athena Nike. See, I is E, E is A in Greek. We say Nike in the the east. So my son came, one of our sons, our middle child, we have a daughter, two sons. So our oldest, our daughter, middle son, and then we have a younger son. Our middle son came in and he said, you have to see this new skin in this game he's playing. <laughs> it's a game called Fortnite. It's some game that he plays on the computer, you know, one of these computer games. And he said, you have to see, check out this new skin. It's Nike, this goddess Nike, and I was uh, right as I was typing out Nike, you know, I said, that's very strange, you know, very powerful synchronicity. So I went in the room and it was this goddess Athena, Athena in Greek, Athena, uh, Sophia Athena Nike in Greek. 
which is the goddess of wisdom. And this, this orange glow of the Sahara in sands in Libya and Greece, they're calling the Minerva, Minerva uh, red, Minerva red, which is a red mine. So we have the red, the red of the fire. This is the fire within the water. It's a fire within, the fire in your heart center being activated. The phoenix is rising from the ashes. The phoenix rises into the dawning. This is the lotus, the symbol of the lotus rising through from the mud, through the holy waters and blooming and blossoming in the light of infinite source creator. So I said, this is very interesting, the synchronicity. So my son showed me this goddess and she was all in white and you know, it was for some kind of Nike promotion or something on this game. So I go and tell my goddess, you know, my sacred condor, I said, check this out. I was getting ready for today's transmission and I was typing about uh, Nike and our son come into the room and, and uh, show me this Athena, goddess Athena Nike on the game. And she said, that's funny. We're watching this with our other son, our youngest, my sacred condor was watching a movie, Percy Jackson or something like that. And the mother of Percy is Athena, Athena. So this is from Athens, Athena. This is the goddess, Sophia Athena Nike. So this is very powerful synchronicity. And one last thing before I bid you all adieu so I can get this out to all of you and then continue working on today's transmission and get that out to you tonight. I record, edit, and upload. So this morning, I woke up, very powerful dreams. My sacred condor and I woke up, we were doing a lot of work last night in the higher realms and the higher dimensions. So we both woke up, you know, feeling very tired. We we're like, wow, uh, I felt like we didn't sleep at all. And I said, yeah, I had this wild dream about a reunion with our families, the celebration and a special family. And she said, I had that same exact dream. So her and I are now dreaming together the same dreams. Obviously, we're dreaming this dream together to reunite through this realm for this new earth awakening. So now uh, divine unions are coming together in dream time, which we have for years, but now it's becoming very, very evident. You know, all the veils are lifting, they're thinning as the as we navigate through these unknown waters, someone just revved their engine up. I'm on our balcony here on our porch. There's a lot of traffic. We're on a very busy street here very soon. When our divine dispensations come in, I'll be able to get our sacred land back, our happy valley, and then be able to live amongst nature, you know, so I can complete our work here in this realm and our sacred portal and anchor our talisman, our sacred talisman of our star nations into the earth and create our Dharman Hur spiral. The Dharman Hur is a sacred spiral that opens the portal to our higher realm, to our Merkaba ship so that we can fully activate our light body, our diamond, rainbow, dragon light body. This is the coat of many colors, the, the rainbow body. So be sure to join us tonight. Thank you all very much for supporting us, for your kindness, for your joy, for your, your bliss, your love, your prayers. We appreciate each and every one of you. Also, what came through today uh, as I connected to the Great Spirit on one of my journeys today, I had to go on a special mission for my sacred condor what was downloaded into me is that the that the technology of the great spirit is way more powerful than any technology of the nefarious ones what they are projecting at us through their programs through their technologies through their energy and some of the technologies of the great spirit of the holy spirit of god source creator whatever name you want to give to source allah buddha does not matter the name. What matters is the energy. You know, our technologies, our love, our joy, our kindness, compassion. These are part of our technologies to assist Gaia and all her children of the sun.
in this great ascension process. And of course, we have higher dimensional 5D technologies too that will be coming to humanity through this great shift of the ages, such as uh, the med beds and these quantum systems, these quantum benevolent systems to en enhance life, to expand consciousness, to free humanity from all slavery systems, the debt sl slavery systems, the the financial uh, systems of the judicial systems, these governmental, these religious systems, you know, where we're going to be freed from all dogma, from all programming, from all false ideologies. You know, our ideology is of love, of connection, of community, of relationship. So we saw this in our dream last night that all relationships are going through a healing process and we are preparing for our great reunions with our star families, our soul families, our kins, our kinship through our kins domains, you know, from the Anastasia ringing cedar teachings, the ringing cedars of Siberia, you know, of coming in. So this knowledge is returning to our people. And one of the greatest things we can do for ourselves and for our people is return to nature, return to the Tao, which is the way, the truth and the life. You know, of source creator have a most beautiful blessed day thank you all very much the eagle and the condor love you all namaste